She is not a politician, probably why she isn't a household name. But Linda Thomas Greenfield has made a career of solving problems, and the world feels full of them right now. What keeps you up at night? Wow, that's a. Uh, uh... Mrs. Thomas Greenfield is U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. At the helm of the world's most complicated crises like Ukraine, Taiwan, and the Israel Hamas war. Sometimes she bears the brunt of the emotion and anger around those problems. Like in Vermont last week when college protesters blamed the ambassador for voting against the first few ceasefire resolutions that might have stopped the fighting in Palestine. You faced some criticism uh, from college protesters. What's your message to them as you watch these happen all across the country? I spent a part of my life when I was on that side of, of a protest. And I ask myself now that I'm on this side, what would I want to hear from me? And what I want to hear is that I'm being heard. The ambassador is in Dallas this week attending a summit with business leaders from Africa and a dinner with former President George W. Bush. A moment maybe to catch her breath from the persistent demands of diplomacy. How do you unwind with, with the world seemingly on your shoulders and trying to keep the peace? You know, that's, that's a great question as well. I love to cook. And uh, I, when I was Assistant Secretary for Africa, I told everyone I would come home at 10 o'clock at night and put on a pot of red beans. And they take two hours to cook. And everybody's like, you put on red beans at 10 o'clock at night? And I'm like, oh, like chopping onions really relaxes me. Uh, so cooking relaxes me. Uh, and it really gives me uh, a, a sense of being normal. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield also in Dallas for a dinner with former President Bush. And she tells an interesting story about him. The first time she met him back in 2008, what the president did that took her by surprise there in the Oval Office. You can see that in our entire eight-minute interview with the ambassador, ready to watch right now at WFAA.com. In Dallas, I'm Jason White.